Aloha, my name is Daniela Elliott and I'm applying for the Excellence in Online Teaching Award for Guideline 2, Course Technology and Tools with my Botany 130 class. I use lots of different tools and technologies in this class and we're going to talk about them later in this presentation. However, I want to make the case that OER is a technology that can be used to support a course and also support the way students interact with the content. So let me tell a little bit about a problem that I had and how I solved it using OER. Botany 130 requires content that is very specific to the Hawaiian Islands, but the only book available was expensive and not written for a college audience. So the solution was to create an open educational resource for this course that had the local content and local illustrations and images. However, there are very few materials available out there that we could use as an OER material. So the ultimate solution was to create everything from scratch using technology that could support this type of content. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. To address guideline 2.1, I'm going to go over the technologies and tools being used in this course in detail. This course uses Laulima lessons to organize the content for the course. For week one, for example, we have an introduction, learning objectives, learning materials, assignments, and also a section for helpful hints. In the very beginning of the semester, I go over all the tools and technologies that students will need to interact with the content of this course, including videos, email instructions, but also a list of course technology, require hardware and software, student data, technical support. Well, throughout the semester, depending on the tool and technology that we're going to be using, I also highlight during the weeks that we're going to be covering the different things that they will need. So it's also a refresher. The learning materials are linked to a Google site. The content for the week is listed here, and it's a combination of readings and videos. Students can access the content of chapters of a book that I co-author via LibreText right here, or they can go straight into the LibreText page and access everything. So we use the LibreText technology to develop this book. And as you can see, everything hosted here was developed specifically to bring out this content to our students. This is the flora of Hawaii. This was developed specifically uh, for this book. So other things that you can see are dissections like this that require the use of professional photography, but also Adobe Lightroom and Illustrator. Um, and these images were uh, captured in the field or in the lab and required a lot of different technologies and tools to be created. I also developed 33 videos for this course using live field demonstrations and interviews with farmers and community leaders. To address 2.2, I will cover how I include orientation and tutorials for technology skills required for the learning activities in this course. I have five different activities hosted on the forums. These activities require that students interact with a tool or technology. In this case, for 401, I asked them to visit Google Earth, download a GIS layer, and interact with that layer where they locate their ahupua'a and where they come from. They answer several questions, and then they post on forums, including a screenshot of their map. So all the instructions are listed here, but I also have troubleshooting videos and step-by-step -step videos guiding students through this process. I also provide feedback via video and written instructions for everything. Another example is right here on evolution and diversity in Hawaii, where I use the tool called OneZoom. Students interact with this massive tree of life that is beautifully done online. And then once they find their plant that they're researching, they then post a screenshot and answer several questions. And that's how they interact with me, but also with students in the class. To address 2.3, I'll go over the Start Here page on La Lima. I have a video here where I walk students through this information. I also have everything listed here in written form. I advise students about the data collection and the safeguard of their data here, and I include the University of Hawaii executive policy for the information. I offer links to privacy policies of all websites and links to privacy policies of the learning management systems that are used. I also have links to the accessibility policies for all tools in this course, and they can be found here. The tools I use are approved by UHITS. In some instances, I didn't want to use tools that are not listed, so I submitted the UHITS instructional third-party online tools for review. To address 2.4, I'll go over how the tools I use promote student engagement and active learning. This tool right here is called Picture This. Students can download this app into their phone, and then they're able to 
identify different plants in their neighborhood and then share that information across a large learning community. To address 2.5, I'll cover some of the up-to-date technologies that I use in this course. We use Open Pedagogy, which uses open educational resources to promote student involvement in teaching and learning. This class has a project in which students create their own content. They start here by using an app, such as iNaturalist or Picture This. I eventually, they identify their species they're going to work with. And then they can create, using Google Docs, their own content based on online research that they have done. They take their own photos and they upload all this information using Google Docs. This information can then be used as a campus signage for the gardens, or it can be used as the basis to create a short video. Under Open Pedagogy, students can then agree for their project or their materials to be used under this agreement to contribute to openly licensed projects. For 2.6, I would like to address how I use technologies in this course to support the course learning objectives. For this, for this course, the course learning objectives are directly linked to the tools and activities that I use. So for example, if you look here, the creation of these innovative materials that actively engage students with course content and also sets a framework for the course. So instructor and students are actively creating and improving the content through the use of OER, through LibreText or Google Docs, but also open pedagogy, which students are engaged in the creation of course content the creation of text, photo, videos, and using different technologies. And number two, the course activities use external technology tools, and the results are shared on our Lima forums to facilitate interaction. And there are all these different tools that we use in this course. And I do believe it supports the case that this creates a really strong learning community. Thank you for watching this presentation and for considering me for the Excellence in Online Teaching Award.